another one. Greetings. This is John Joseph Xavier Shion coming at you from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Today, we're going to unbox the DJ, DJ Khaled Funko Pop. And uh, I'm going to give you my thoughts on his new album that came out this past Friday, God Knows. And we're also going to try to figure out what the hell he does. Before we do that, if you haven't yet done so, please slap that like button and subscribe as well. It's greatly appreciated if you watch this video to the end, leave a comment, and um, also there's a link to leave a tip if you appreciate this content as well. So with that out of the way, let's get to it. So this is just the standard DJ Khaled Funko Pop. And there's not really a premium on it right now. Here, let's look at the artwork on the back of the box. He's got his red Air Jordan 3s on. The artwork as well so you can get this for $15 or less and um, here we go it's not a bad pop he's got his microphone he's got his t-shirt that says we the best he's got his uh, the all red air Jordan 3s that Jordan brand made for him. The microphone. I got a little Wayne Funko Pop, so I think maybe he's going to hang out with little Wayne. So the album came out last Friday, and DJ Khaled, I mean, he's kind of like the McDonald's of uh, modern hip hop music. He turns out these albums, and for those who aren't familiar with them, his albums are basically anthologies, um, all sorts of different rappers. So on the first three tracks on this album, he's got Drake, he's got Jay-Z, he's got Kanye and Eminem. Uh, so he's got a who's who of rappers in 2022. And because his name is DJ Khaled, I initially thought that he made the beats, but he doesn't make the beats. And I thought maybe he produced the album. But there's actually producers on the individual tracks. So, what does this guy do? Um, as best as I can tell, he's he brings everyone together. And then they make the tracks. And then he releases it under his name. And he shows up and he yells another one in his name on the track. Stuff like that. So, I mean, how did he get this position? It's all very confusing to me. Um, he slaps his name on it. He apparently commissions it. And then he hands it off. Someone else produces a track. Someone else makes a beat. And someone else raps on it. So the album, I mean, it's a good overview of what's going on in modern hip-hop right now. Um... For the most part, there's some decent performances, but people don't necessarily bring their A game because this is just a one-off on someone else's album. Uh, the standout track for me is the one with Jay-Z. He, he raps straight for four minutes on the track, and it's better than everything off his last album. So um, I like that a lot, and I'm, I'm going to put the album on and listen to it when I'm driving around probably. But it's, you know, it's basically um, just kind of inoffensive um, mainstream hip-hop right now. So, you know, it's like the McDonald's of music. Sometimes you want a Big Mac and that's okay. There's nothing wrong with wanting a Big Mac. That's basically what DJ Khaled does. Um, I'm really curious. So I totally see how this arrangement benefits him. It's great for him to just show up and commission these and oversee it and then slap his name on it. Um, oh, I don't know if I mentioned this yet too. His his young 
children are named as executive producers on the album too. Which may be fair because they may have done about as much as he did. But why do people give him tracks? Is this some sort of hip hop Ponzi scheme? Is it a money laundering scheme? Um, does he, he used to be on a radio station way back in the day. Did he have enough influence that uh, he was able to get people to be on his tracks and let them release them under his name in exchange for getting play? So it's, it's all very confusing and it's not like he's going to give us any answers. But, uh, you know, he's found something that works. And, and more power to him. I guess in, in the rock world, I've heard that Rick Rubin is similar in a way because he often has his assistants do the majority of the work on the albums he produces and he just sort of shows up and listens to the final mixes and gives his thumbs up or thumbs down. But all the heavy duty lifting is done by his assistants. Um, and Rick Rubin is one of the few producers whose name I think does help sell albums right now. But the difference between him and DJ Khaled is that uh, Rick Rubin doesn't slap its name on the album above the band. So it's a, li it's a little bit different. But nonetheless, this isn't a bad pop. Um, really like that he's got his Air Jordan 3s on. And... I think that's a good place to leave it. So let me know what you think. Uh, do you like DJ Khaled's music? Do you listen to him? Did you know he wasn't a DJ? This was a shock to me the first time I found out. So again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to slap that like button and subscribe. And I hope that you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much.